What's going on, Infinite Fam? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notification bell, leave a positive comment down below for a chance to get a what, babe? For a chance to get a shout out in the next video. That is right, guys. So, the title, Are We Meant for Each Other? Mm. Now, this is going to get a little informative. Informative, confusing probably to some of you. I feel like this is all a conspiracy theory. I agree. That the app created. Now, go ahead and tell them what app I'm talking about, how you found the app, and whatever it's asking. All right, so the way we came about this is because we were getting facials, and the person who was doing our facials is really into astrology. She told us about this app. It's called The Pattern, and it basically tells you your compatibility with your friends and your partners and whosoever information you put in. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't want to cut you off. Disclaimer. This is not a sponsor for the app or anything. We simply just did this because our technician who did our facials yeah. told us about it, and we were just curious about it but go ahead babe. I know a lot of you are into astrology and my best friend is too and I kind of wanted to just dive in a little bit I'm not big on it but I do like believe certain things so what I did was I pretty much put Isaiah's information in and my information in and I'm going to read to you our compatibilities our issues and all the stuff that goes on in our relationship according to this app right and we're basically going to dissect it and let you know if it's true or stuff that we disagree and agree on bro if this is like really accurate I'm gonna get a little creeped up because this is based off of like what type of information like our birthdays and like the time we were born mm -hmm. and just like stuff like that right like kind yeah. of like zodiac stuff yeah just zodiac stuff honestly okay so you ready I'm ready so I'm going to go ahead and do our little compatibility thing and then we're gonna read it to you <sighs> All right, guys, so first things first, on the top of the list, it says, Things to know. You and Isaiah often struggle with feelings, <laughs> with feelings shut down and blocked in your relationships, like something's missing. This time is no different. You're both repeating this pattern. Potential conflict between you and Isaiah, what he expects from a partner, and who you are at your core may be fundamental fundamentally different at times Isaiah might feel especially affected and provoked by you it could seem like he can't follow his intuition and direct he could feel undermined in response to Isaiah he could become reckless and restless or he gives up on going out on his own I'm not gonna lie I disagree with like three quarters of that yeah we do I I'm like does it sound I right? don't and this is just things to know right we yeah. didn't even dive into everything it told us yet right but I'm gonna what are you doing Luke, get out of there. Guys, he's like sticking his head inside an Amazon envelope. <laughs> Come here. He thinks that there's T-R-E-A-T -E in there. Honestly, I disagree with a lot of it. The only thing that I agree with is that we're like different, if that makes sense. Like Yeah, but it says that I'm looking that that you don't have what I'm looking for in a partner. I feel like is what I got from that. And yeah. I disagree with that. I wouldn't be with you if that were the case. Right. So I feel like you're everything that I ever looked for in a girl and I'm 100% happy with you. So therefore I just disagree with that. Yeah, I I feel like when it says there's potential, potential conflict between us and we are different to the core, I just feel like everybody's different. You know what I mean? I would say we are complete opposites though. Yeah. Like your style versus my style, completely different. I, yeah, that part I definitely do agree with, but Again, I feel like opposites attract, and I feel right. like that's why we were brought together. Let's get into it. We're gonna start dissecting whatever the he so what is it? Different cat categories. How many categories are there? There's five. All right, so five different categories. We're gonna read each one, and then we're gonna dissect them and see if we agree with them or not. The first one is friction. Mm, so frustration. Okay. You're looking to go through life with a partner by your side while Isaiah needs freedom. If there's frustration between you, it could be because the attention you give Isaiah may not be reciprocated. You may also feel like you're doing all the work to maintain the relationship. Nah, I would say this is halfway true. Uh -huh. um, you are 100% more attention giving. You are way more like affectionate and like more like on me uh -huh. versus like me on you. You know what I mean? Like you show more love and you give me more attention than I feel like I give you. You know what I mean? Like I, I wasn't always the type to like show my feelings and stuff like that and like be crazy affectionate. That, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense. I don't agree with you're looking to go through life with a partner by your side because I've always been really independent. This and is stuff about you? Yeah, this okay. is stuff about me that it says that I'm looking to go through like life with a partner and you're not. No, yeah, you're pretty independent. Yeah, it's like if we weren't together, I'd probably just be fine on my own. Like I'm very strong on like 
I'm good by myself kind of thing. Yeah. And that's what I feel like that's one of my downfalls yeah. actually because I want to be independent so bad. You think you're good? Boy. You think you're better than me? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's the next one. It says push towards growth. There's a powerful feeling between you and Isaiah and you have his attention. He can feel excitement and drawn into this dynamic like he's headed into the unknown. Alternatively, if he's struggling, he could find himself feeling things more deeply than he does with other partners. If Isaiah usually detaches mentally or just takes off to escape when things get emotional, it could seem like he can't do that with you. It's like instead of restlessly seeking his own independence, he's being challenged to stay present and deal with his emerging feelings. Isaiah might find himself more reactive to you than he is with other partners. I agree with that yeah more than i don't so yeah i agree too <laughs> i will say that whenever things get emotionally challenging for me i kind of like just steer off and i kind of like shut the world out i really don't like talking about my feelings you guys already know this it takes a lot out of me to talk about my feelings but yeah i would definitely agree with that as far as like me what it said it's just like i don't do it with you no it says that pretty much if you want to shut people out like you can shut others out but you can't shut me out like you have you just have to be vulnerable with me kind of i'm more like i'm working on that more so like mm -hmm. i said it's already tough for me to like speak about my feelings and my emotions and all that but i do feel like you are the first to know them before anyone else but that's what it says it's like you want to hold back but sometimes yeah. you can it's conflicting that's what it says yeah it's a constant like battle in my head and you guys are probably gonna be like oh you need to talk about your feelings and open up and all that believe me i've heard this all my life <laughs> i'm just not that type of person and i've been trying to figure out why i can't i don't know what it goes back to but yeah so the next one is trust and comfort. Okay. Isaiah has likely found a haven in you. What is that? A these haven? Big, these big words, a man. Safe, a safe place. Yeah, I agree with that, yes. <laughs> your connection has a great sense of security and comfort. Pretty yes. much explaining what that means. Yes. It's like you've been involved before and are just picking up where you left off. But you're not just sharing a past. Your relationship also has an incredible amount of potential. Definitely, I do feel I have a safe spot or like a soft spot when it comes to you. Mm -hmm. Again, that's something I'm still working on as far as like opening up to you and all that. But I will say I think I've have gotten a lot better from when we first started dating. Yes, for sure. So I agree with that, yes. The next one is expectations. Isaiah wants you to be able to take care of practical and material responsibilities. He expects you to be knowledgeable and committed to building something tangible with him. If there's conflict, it could be because you're more interested in idealistic or unconventional pursuits. Instead of providing for Isaiah in a traditional way, you could be in your head a lot more or are more rebellious or independent than he'd prefer. 100% I agree with that. 100%. I'm always looking for her to like better herself and always like, not saying that like you don't do good on your own, but it's like I always want like more for you and I always like want you to go to like the next level up. So I don't know. I feel like... I, I just feel like that's accurate, wouldn't you say? I think it is accurate. I think that's that, pretty that's, accurate. That's crazy because it's like I do I always want you to do everything you possibly can just in case of like one day I'm not here. Like I always tell you that. Like, oh what if I'm not here one day? This is stuff that you would have to do. Yeah, I think that's a big struggle of mine. It's cause like I wanna be independent so bad, but at the same time it's like certain things like driving. And I'm always like, pushing her. So that's yeah. like a great example. Like I'm always striving for her to like be like better. Like I don't mm -hmm. know, just better yourself. And on top of that, I'm a very like in my head type of person and sometimes I don't make practical choices. I make choices off of feelings and impulse, which is probably like an Aries thing because I'm like fired. Like I'm straight like boom. Like yeah. I don't know. I'm too sometimes too much on my choices. For example, I will decide to go and get a tattoo tomorrow. And, and then I'll be like, I'm like, over here like, all right, chill out. Let's actually yeah. think about this because it's going to be on your skin for the rest of your life. And if I get the tattoo, when I'm there, I'm like, oh, I want to do more. I'll get three piercings. Like, I did that last time. Yes, and it didn't end well. And I'm like, exactly. this is kind of what happens when I don't have, when I'm not there to like, yo, like, hold on. Bring me it, down to earth. Think about this real quick. So yeah, that's 100% accurate. Yeah, and Isaiah's more on the practical side where he thinks things through before he does stuff. I just do it. Yeah, so. some, sometimes I'm like that sometimes. <laughs> so the next one is possible alignment you want to read these both you and isaiah are learning how important relationships are to you though you both may want to be part of a couple your approaches could differ slightly you're discovering that you're driven by the idea of commitment itself and have the ability to maintain the relationship for isaiah it's more about connection in a deeply personal way he's looking for intensity and intimacy more than driving the relationship or keeping it going yes 
Yeah. I've always told her that like my love language is like touch. Like I'm very, when I'm in that mood, like I'm very intimate. I really want to like be able to like feel you and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm not more so about like the speaking. I'm more about like the doing. Yeah, and I'm more of like a, I don't even know. I like, feel like your love language is like when I help you out with stuff. It, acts of service. That's yeah. my love language. Yeah, so like whenever, example, like if I help her like wash the dishes or like clean up the house or something like that, even though I do that anyway because it's 50-50. But like when I do help her with her side of the chores, I feel like that's what she notices and like that's where she's like, oh, I love him. Yeah, I think that's true. And it's like, I see that as like, okay, we can really work out in the future. Like I'm always thinking about long term and I'm like, take things deeper than you. Would. And I'm more like, as far as like a relationship, I'm more for like in the moment. And then she's like more for the future. And then when it comes to like just general life, I think about the future and she thinks about like in the moment, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Intimacy blocks. On your best days as a couple, you and Isaiah feel like good friends to each other, but there might also be a sense that something is blocking you from feeling intimate. This could reinforce a sense of limitations and boundaries that you both likely felt in your relationship lives. This energy may not be passionate or exciting, but it helps you both learn not to look for all your fulfillment in each other or any other partner. However, it also makes you two more likely to stick with your relationship for the long term. Alternatively, if you're struggling, you and Isaiah could feel deficient around each other. There could be a sense that your relationship just doesn't feel right. Perhaps you point out each other's flaws and are controlling. Or you could be critical of each other, feeling that your partner isn't good enough and doesn't live up to your standards. In both cases, one or both of you might feel trapped and unsatisfied like something's missing, but you can't walk away. If either one of you tries to change the other or fix yourself and do better, it often makes things worse. This pattern can feel incredibly frustrating, but it's important to know that it's not personal. I agree with most of that. Most of it? Really? I agree with most of that, and I'll tell you why. Because if we ever get into like a disagreement, because we're not going to sit here and act like we're perfect. Mm -hmm. If we ever get into like a disagreement or have like a small argument or something like that, I feel like you'll nitpick what I did and vice versa. I'll nitpick what mm -hmm. you did. And then we'll try to like fix that about each other like fix that about ourselves and be like all right let me try this but then it doesn't end up working it's like you know what just stay the way you were like i feel like if it, it does damage like how i said it makes it worse if you try to change the way we already function like we shouldn't have to be changing ourselves yeah i kind of agree with that like the other day <laughs> what like the way i say things sometimes is yes, a little bit bro. aggressive I it's guess. your tone like the way you be saying stuff i'm like yo but why you gotta say what attitude and she's like i'm not giving you an attitude and I'm I like, but why are you saying really, it like that i really don't have an attitude but it's like the way i talk sometimes i guess i sound aggressive bro and i i'm a big believer i tell this to everyone even my little sister it's not what you say it's how you say it so if you come across me like wrong in a tone, I'm like, why are you mad? Why are you giving me an attitude? And then she's like, I'm not giving you an attitude. I'm like, I'm like see, right, but bro. it's crazy because I see it in her. And guess what? We're both Aries too. Uh, you, you're toxic. I'm not toxic. <laughs> yeah, I understand. I agree with that. I don't agree with. Remember, I said I agree with most of it, not all. Of it. Yeah, I don't agree with it saying like the relationship doesn't feel right because. No, that's that's the part I don't agree. Yeah, with. Yeah, because it's like we understand each other. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not like we don't feel right together because again if we didn't feel right together we would have broke up we were six years in bro for real like <laughs> damn that would be, be a long time yeah we wouldn't be going through this like <laughs> yeah but it does like get annoying i feel like we get annoyed with each other a lot when it comes to like that's, that's normal parent. though that's a relationship like that's you're gonna have like ups and downs but yeah. I mean, it's not like, I don't know, man. Like, uh, and sometimes Isaiah does stuff on purpose to get me annoyed. Yeah, I do it just to be funny. And then she gets annoyed. And I'm like, I'm going to do it some more. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that does get annoying. But that's how I feel about that. So, next one. Ooh, so one of them is friends in a past life. That one sounds interesting. That we were friends in a past life? I don't know. Let's see. Isaiah feels like someone you've known for a long time. Right away, you may have felt loyal to him and sense that you could open yourself up to him. It may feel like you were fated to meet and connect. And this pattern is powerful and may be one of the reasons you initially, initially felt attracted to one another. I, I kind of agree with that. Let me see that again. Hold on. Okay, so after reading it, I will say, yes, I agree with it. Because there was something that was just different, in my opinion. There was just something different about you that I just felt like drawn to you. I felt like you were different from all the other girls in high school, which I've always told you that. Because um, I wasn't I was, that little daddy. Not even that. I just told, like, I always told you, there was, that you're just different from everyone else. Yeah. You're, you, like, always stood out. And I'm like, you know what? I like that. I like that she stands out. She's not like the others. And I don't know what it is, be, besides not being a body. But I fell in love with yeah, the emo no, girl. I, 
I did. I really did back then. Yes, I did. <laughs> so, yeah, there was always something that was different about you. I don't know what it was, but I liked it, obviously. I felt the same way. I felt like other guys were just annoying. I was literally, I still feel the same. There's so many guys that irritate the shit out of me. Or I, their demeanor is ugly. Like, And I felt like Isaiah was just not like that. Like, Isaiah was just a genuine person. Thanks, babe. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> I think I'm gonna read two more. All right, let's shoot for it. And they're gonna be similarities. So I'll read that. You and Isaiah share a similar outlook and approach to life. You can give each other room to breathe. You both have an independent, unconventional, or even eccentric side and may enjoy being out outsiders together. It's likely you connect intellectually and tend to address problems objectively rather than emotionally. I, all right, see that last sentence, I don't agree with. Everything else was like to a T. We are completely fine with being outsiders if we just have each other. We've always been like that. We were like always just different from everyone else, you know, humbly speaking. But like, yeah, we weren't just like your practical, I don't know, I guess like people from our area type thing. Like yeah. we, we just always stood out. But that last sentence, I will say that I handle things objectively while you handle things emotionally. I don't think so because if we're talking about like world problems like political stuff or things that we disagree with we really dissect them and we talk about them sometimes but sometimes i feel like off of reaction you tend to react off of emotion i do and i'm not like that I n i've never been like that i more so like think everything over and i'm like i'm gonna handle this this way like i just don't react like that i yeah i do because if i hear something about a topic even not with us but like if it's someone else talking about their views on like you know a whole bunch of things and i hear something i don't like oh it triggers me i'm not like that because yeah. it's like everyone you're entitled to have your opinion so if that's how you feel bro that's how you feel unless it's something crazy like a, a racial remark or something like that i'm like i'm not gonna just let that slide yeah that's different but if we're talking like politics or like religion or stuff like that bro you feel how you feel. You have your own opinion. You're you're entitled to that. So I'm not gonna. Why would I get mad at the way you view things? I view things differently, and you probably get mad at the way I view things. And right. Exactly. That's it. So yeah, I would agree with that. Ninety percent. Ninety-five percent. All right. So the last one is attraction, expanding uniqueness. You can be yourself around Isaiah. With him, you feel comfortable showing your unique, uh, uh, showing your unique qualities he gives you the confidence and independence and you don't have to worry about what others think he expands your innate ability to be objective just don't overdo your need to be different to the point of not connecting with him i agree with that 100 i feel like you feel comfortable enough with me where you just be acting all types of weird and crazy <laughs> and when yo especially late at night when it get when she gets like really tired all right she just be on her <laughs> bs bro just saying the weirdest things doing the weirdest things and i'm like do you, bro? You're, you're gonna get tired eventually. You'll make yourself fall asleep. I don't know, but it, I don't get the last part. Like, don't be too different to the point where. I don't get that either, but I do feel like, in my opinion, that I've, you are comfortable with me. Like, I've seen you at your worst and I've seen you at your best. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, that was that. How do you feel? I feel like overall, though, I would say that's like. 80 85 percent accurate mm -hmm. everything that it said obviously there were things i disagreed with i didn't think it was true but um for the most part yeah it was pretty accurate yeah I and i'm not a too. big believer when it comes to like zodiac stuff and I, you, you know that so but i will say a lot of that was pretty accurate which is kind of scary i feel like a lot of aries things are pretty accurate when it comes to like the fire sign like i feel like everything's driven so hardcore with yeah. aries Versus Aquarius, you're more chill. Aren't you a water sign or air sign? No, I'm water. Are you sure? I believe so, yeah. Because I think they're air sign. No, nah, well, I don't know. You guys tell me January 23rd. Yeah, so <laughs> I don't know. Sure water. I don't know. So let us know down below what you guys think as far as, like, you guys don't see, obviously, everything that goes on in our relationship, but everything that you guys see on camera, let us know if you guys think that everything was pretty accurate. I say most of it was. And if you guys like videos like this and want to see different types of videos like this, let us know down below. Also, hit that thumbs up button. It is now time for today's post notification shout out. Today's post notification shout out goes out to Cody Reynolds. Shout out to you, bro. Thank you for all the love and support. If you guys want a post notification shout out, all you guys got to do is like, comment, share, and subscribe, and turn those post notification bells on to you notify whenever we post a new video and with all that being said we will catch you in the next video it's my girl for life for life